Alyssa on Twitter asks, Talk about how you started the thing on Twitter where you change your middle name every time you change your profile pic. I don't exactly remember how this started. At first, the first few times I did it, it always started with D because my middle name actually starts with D. I don't even remember if this was a thing I've done since I started Twitter or like when I first started Twitter, I don't know if it was just Joe Rep or if I did actually have Joe David Rep on Twitter. That sounds weird. Like my full name, Josiah David Rep, that sounds fine. Maybe I shouldn't put my actual full name on the internet. I've never had my actual middle name public online as far as I'm aware. I think on Facebook I'm Josiah D. Rep, and on Twitter for a long time I was just Joe Rep, if I remember correctly. Uh, then I believe around Halloween time I changed it to Death or Doom or something like that. Let's answer another question. How do you get sound to travel faster than light? That question is from Daniel Elliott. Sound uh, can't travel faster than light. Sound is inherently slower than light. Um, this is why the things you hear and the things you see uh, sometimes are a bit out of sync. Like lightning comes down and then you wait, then you hear the thunder because sound is traveling slower than the light which is hitting your eyes. Uh, and it's also why video is just light. So if like you record something long enough, the audio and the video are always going to eventually just naturally come out of sync because the sound is traveling slower than the light from the video. Yours truly, Chris, asks, what is your favorite VeggieTales episode and what makes it so special? Uh, my favorite episode is Minnesota Cuke and the search for Samson's hairbrush. Whenever I first watched that particular episode, I think that was the first time I realized VeggieTales. Actually, probably the first time I realized that cartoons in general can be made not just for kids. Like, I had read Phil Vischer's book, Me, Myself, and Bob, and I understood that, like, there were jokes in VeggieTales that were meant to go over kids' heads. Whenever I first watched The Search for Samson's Hairbrush, that was, I believe, the first time I watched VeggieTales or any cartoon as a first-time viewer and really felt that it was still relevant to me. Um, which is weird because Search for Samson's Hairbrush, the moral is stand up to bullies. And I've never really had a problem with bullies in my life. Um, but the story still spoke to me on a thematic level. I still really enjoyed it just as a story. And uh, it was funny and entertaining. And also, Pizza Angel is the best silly song. Okay, say hello to the camera. Say hello. Yes, it's a girl. Ryan Matlock asks, what will be the future format of FAQ now that it's done? In my mind, there are six, I'm holding a microphone, this doesn't really work. There are six things that make FAQ what it is. Um, specifically talking about the last episode, because four of these, I think, only really apply to the first five. There's the questions, the memes, the fact that it is collaborative. Oh, and the fact that it's every year. Uh, the elements that I sort of added into End of a Decade are uh, the fact it sort of has a storyline. It's not taken super seriously and it only shows up in three scenes in the video, but it has an overarching story. And then the um, kind of variety show format where... Uh, if you watch for more than a minute, it'll be something completely different than what it was a minute ago. And in my mind, the two of those that have ended are the question format and the fact that it's yearly. Uh, the collaborative element of it, the memes, the variety show format, and overarching stories that may or may not be taken super seriously are all things that I want to permeate all of my content on YouTube. The questions and the fact that it's yearly, that's what I've gotten tired of. The other four things 
are things that I really love doing and I want to do them more often than once a year and I don't want it to have to be in a big production thing. I want those to be in maybe not all four, but at least one of those four things to be in all of my videos. So that's why I say it's not really ending, guys. Don't be sad. Please keep watching. Please. Which is, uh, sorry, this is from Tim Sorbera who asks, which is best, pine, two pine, an apple, or a pineapple? The correct answer um, would be a pen pineapple apple pen. Uh, it seems Will Locatelli already beat me to that punchline, but I like it, so that's the one I'm keeping in the video. Also in response to Tim Sorbera's question, Caleb Crow says, I can't wait for Joe to opine appalled at this question. I don't know what that means. Caleb Crow asks, what's an instance where what you achieved in ingenuity was made up for in, if in efficiency? Um, the answer is um, a long one because there are many, many video ideas that are just very good video ideas that I've had in my brain for literally multiple years, but I've never made because I'm lazy. I think that answers the question. Jeremiah Burroughs asks, what's the worst that could happen? The worst that could happen is that you could still live, but you'll wish that you were dead. So what I actually posted on Facebook was that I was gonna make a Q&A video that was a bit weird, and Will Locatelli helpfully points out that uh, he remembers when Chris Howard did a series of Q&A videos that were a bit weird. And I also remember this. Chris Howard, make more videos with EC in them. Please. Mary Sear, I believe is how you say her name, commented, if you could merge an animal with an electrical appliance, what would you create and why? Well, here's an answer. Um, like, I don't know, I don't know what it would be, but like, uh, if you take like a vacuum, and I guess, I don't know, just kind of like a, a, a puppy, and like you merge them together, so like, rather than shedding hair all over the floor, the puppy would then go around and vacuum up, like dust and hair from the real dogs. Um, so, so just a Roomba. Um, yeah, uh, I, I would invent the Roomba. Yours truly, Chris, asked a second question, because he thinks he's allowed to be in my video two times for some reason. Uh, he asks, uh, Florida or Virginia? For those of you who don't know, I used to live in Virginia. I currently live in Florida. I do enjoy living in Virginia more. Interesting little trivia fact. Um, in canon, in the storyline of my videos, Joe doesn't live with his parents. He's a self-sufficient adult within the fantasy world of my videos. That's why the place where he records is not his bedroom, according to videos. It's um, the back room of the Hipster Nerds Pawn Shop, which is not a real place. Um, but the Hipster Nerds Pawn Shop, because I can't think of a good reason why the Hipster Nerd would move his entire pawn shop several states down, um, canonically, all the videos take place in Charlottesville, Virginia. Um, because that's where the pawn shop canonically is located. If you look through old Twitter posts, that is canonically true. Um, and therefore, within videos, despite the fact that things may look like Florida, any video that's canon to the storyline, uh, within the fiction of the story, that's Virginia. Jeremiah Burroughs asks, what's down? No. The colloquialism is what's up. There's nothing down. It's just the ground, stupid. What's up is what's going on. Nothing's going on down. It's just the dirt and the soil and the 
insects. The boring things that happen all the time. See, what is up is always changing. What is down stays constant. You don't ask what's down because you already know you can see it. It is in front of you or below you, I guess. Thank you for joining me for this little experiment. I don't do a lot of unscripted content. That's why it's notable enough for me to just call the video unscripted with no capital letters. Uh, if you like this video, Tell me, and maybe I'll do more. Actually, doing Q&A videos is a Patreon stretch goal. So, you know what? If... <laughs> if I'll, I'll do more of these if you pay me to. <laughs> Please leave questions in the comments below so that uh, I can perhaps use them if I do another unscripted video anytime soon in the future. That's all.